Hey everyone, I'm Craig Collins from the What the Warehouse Show, and um, with me today I have Obi. Obi is the founder and CEO of a, a, a brand in um, vitamins, and he's also a PhD um, a, a doctor in uh, as well as um, an expert in medical devices. So right now he's with Vita Manufacturing, and um, we year to year his story. So, Obi, thanks very much for being on, and welcome to What the World. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, yes, um, we we have. I have. I am the CEO of uh, My Alexia, which is a, a supplement brand in the UK, and uh, Vita Manufacturer, which I am the sales account director. Uh, but it is um, uh, almost like a family-owned business with one or two investors in, in that as well. So uh, I founded uh, Vita Manufacturer as well as the as the founder, as the core founded member. So yeah, thank you. Right, for right. <laughs> but okay, so tell us a little bit about your background. Um, uh, how did you get into the space, my Alexa, and um, as well as you know your studies? Yeah. Oh, uh, it's quite interesting because. Um, I I grew up on, in an entrepreneur family. Uh, so my dad is a business person. Uh, he's always running, opening, starting up a new business. He's always having startups. Uh, we've got successful ones, but he's he's the kind of person that uh, gets on anything he finds quite interesting and kind of build a business around it. So um, my background have kind of been shaped um, in, in terms of business. Uh, but I started catching interest once we launched a food business, which was um, more within uh, food, food packaging, uh, especially fish and and and, uh, and the meat, uh, mostly within um, uh, you know like your normal chicken and and beef meat. And this is back then in Nigeria, so. Um, I kind of started supporting my my dad in the business when he started when he started, and just out of curiosity, I was very interested in like um, pharmaceutical, nutraceutical, quality control. So I decided to get into science, <laughs> and um, that that just the interest just went, and uh, I studied pharmaceutical science. I uh, did my masters in that. Uh, my PhD was in drug delivery, um, formulation um, drug delivery, as well as uh, formulation design, which yeah. um, which kind of merge with the uh, the medical device background as well. So uh, so that's that's kind of my my beginning uh, my beginnings early beginnings. I can go into details if you if you want me to <laughs> if that's the for your audience. Uh, but then moved to moved to the UK. I did most of my studies here in the UK, and yeah. um, and then kind of went into the corporate world, uh, pharmaceutical, biotech, um, did consultancy, and that's how I moved into business, uh, starting the brand in supplements, as well as uh, you know launching the manufacturing side. So yeah, it was quite uh, quite an interesting one. Um, I'm happy for you to, yeah, you know, no, if, you, if you want me to go into details with your audience. No, no, that's, that's cool. I'll, I'll, I'll <laughs> go into some detail about the company. So yeah. tell us about Vita Manufacturing. What do you guys do now? So what we do now is, so it, it, we're a contract manufacturing company. Um, some people would say it's a CDMO. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, contracts, uh, a development and manufacturing organization. So what we do is in the vitamin space, we we manufacture for brands. So for example, you, you're interested in launching a beautiful vitamin C or a yeah. beautiful supplement uh, uh, um, within the space, you can come to us and then we'll help you develop the product and then manufacture that um, into any sort of desert form like powders, uh, mm. ta tablets, capsules, gummies, etc. Okay. Okay. So, so I could come up with my my own formulation or my own um, uh, multivitamin. Come to you guys, and you guys will do the manufacturing of it, the formulation, manufacturing, as well yeah. as the packaging. Yes. So what okay. we do is end to end. Um, mm -hmm. So, for example, you have an idea. You have this beautiful idea about, yeah. you know, supplements that does one thing or the other, right? Uh, we then take your idea. Uh, we look at it from a science perspective and kind of refine your idea. So we help you develop yeah. 
that idea and obviously most business people don't have kind of scientific background so we go into the science to design your product once the product is designed then we then get into manufacturing manufacture the products package it um, ship it to you um, with the growing community of uh, kind of uh, online shoppers and e-commerce and e-commerce entrepreneurs so what we do sometimes is to hold the stock we do the fulfillment for some yeah. brands so they can literally uh, buy the pro- uh, they can order manufacturing for from from our facility we hold their customer orders from their website and then we ship it to the customers okay so you're doing the distribution and logistics side of it as well that's fantastic okay um i'm going to because this is what the warehouse show i'm going to expand on that but before i go there i want to ask you about the medical device side because that's also interesting so you do something similar but for medical devices right yes so we don't do manufacturing per se uh, medical device we we can't do uh for few projects we can um but uh what we typically uh focus more on is medical device development so prototyping as right. well as developing that uh, we've got a network of manufacturers um both in the uk europe um us um asia china etc um to then manufacture in scale now, sometimes we can assemble, assemble some of the medical device. So you might have some complex medical device. And then what we do is just get, work with different manufacturers, put all of that together, all the accessories together, and then assemble yeah. that inside our um, facility. Right, right. And then would you also distribute those as well? We've not, we've not done it for anyone, but it's something that, you know, if, okay. if, you, if, if there's a company that requires yeah. that, we will do it for them. <laughs> okay. that's, that's a really very cool service. So yeah. fantastic and well done on that. Let's talk a bit about the warehouse. So, you know, mm-hmm. one of the questions that I ask uh, um, show participants often is, what is their biggest nightmare in their warehouse and their warehousing operation? Sure. So uh, as you can imagine, as a business that does um, kind of drop shipping, et cetera, yeah. uh, one, of our, one of the things you struggle with when you're trying to get all this product for, for clients, et cetera, is the, you know, it, the internal logistics of moving these products around and you have different brands, et cetera. So the yeah. nightmare is actually, um, you know, kind of the arrangement and, you know, the pickup, et cetera. Some yeah. of the companies would uh, use robotics to be able to kind of manage yeah. that um at our level at this moment we, we we we've not integrated much of that but it's something um that is now the future and most warehouses yeah. are now implementing kind of an automated system yeah look uh, automation is fantastic if you've got yeah. the scale and size to justify it or if you've got the product that's small enough to justify it so in the sort of vitamin supplement and smaller type um, products, you can implement robotics quite easily. But yeah. in reality, um, I, I, I'm doing some work with a company that distributes vitamins in New Jersey, and yeah. it's uh, it's still a manual operation, and they've got a 20,000 foot warehouse. So you know, it's it's not necessarily. Um, uh, the case of just go to robotics it's often just the the practicality of getting your processes okay. right in the warehouse yeah. how big is the warehouse operation so our warehouse at the moment is around um say uh, nine thousand square feet if i'm not, if i'm not mistaken okay. so it's not it's not that huge it's not, not like you're yeah. twenty thousand. so yeah, yeah. um but and that's because one of our one of the ways we manage uh, kind of how we work is, for example, your raw materials. We try not to keep a lot of stock. Sure, sure. Because we're managing yeah. brands, you know. So we yeah. we we we're very efficient in doing that, uh, which means we use what we what we need typically. Yeah. <laughs> I, but I I suspect your forecasting and planning must be quite challenging because you've got yes. multiple brands and most of the orders that come in will be at a brand level. So, uh, you know, if I'm on a site looking for a, let's say a vitamin C tablet and I order from one of uh, the the people that uh, you're holding stock for, then you're unlikely to order other products in your warehouse. So you tend to have smaller orders of single single items or two or three items yeah. that they hold. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, one, one thing I must say is, um, so for example, in terms of brands, they would have their brand label. So it might be same yeah. products. Let's say we have a private label, vitamin C, whatever. Yeah. Um, you might have different brand with different, you know, they, they've yeah. got their own packaging style <laughs> yeah. Yeah. and packaging yeah. processes, et cetera. So exactly, exactly. So the initial formulation may not be all that different. So your your raw materials are pretty much the same, but then you've got all the packaging and all of the yes. um, of your branding. Yeah. Tell yeah. Me, do you also distribute for um, like on a three PL basis for people who don't manufacture with you, but but you would distribute for them? We we no, we don't. Um, it's something we might look into in the future if there's demand for that. Um, uh, but. Uh, now is more of uh, we're trying to add as much value mm -hmm. to our customers. You know, coming from a, a consultancy, you know, kind of we started our company as a consultancy company. Um, we literally uh, want to just give a lot of value to our clients and treat them like, uh, like you know, right. treat them as, uh, as as customers as they as they should be treated. <laughs> of course. Um, and then, what IT systems do you currently use? What have you got in place? So we've got, we normally use the typical CRMs and uh, um, um, ERP systems to yeah. then manage all of that. Okay. Um, and, and to be honest, that works for us. We just, so for example, um, the common ER, uh, CRM system that you have yeah. is your Salesforce, et cetera. Yeah. And then we, we then integrate some of that into our ERP system that then manages all of that. Um, and obviously, as a, I would consider our company a, a much more uh, medium or small company that is growing, um, you know, we we tend to want to customize in the future. Um, for now, we're just using a kind of a ger generic um, ERP system which, that which works. One? So we use uh, what's the name of? Uh, we usually use we use Tropos, and we use an ERP system called MRP Easy. Okay. Okay, cool. So I don't know if you if you know any uh, of that. I, I, no, I know Troopers, but I I haven't encountered MRP Easy. Um, yeah. but I, I, it makes sense that if you're manufacturing and planning um the way you are, that uh, you need an MRP system. So I, I'll actually yeah. take a look at it. Tell yeah. me, um, have you integrated um anything on barcode scanning and warehousing into it at all? Yes, but some part of it is is. Is a manual process in a way. Uh, we're still slightly manual. Uh, so although some of, like the ERP system kind of have those integrations yeah. to then um, uh, to have all the products barcodes yeah, and yeah, identify yeah. which product you're picking up, etc. So, um, but then it, it's it's semi-automatic, I would say, in sure, that sure. sense. Mm, okay. Um, yeah. So uh, I, I asked the question on systems because you know. A lot of our customers are um, are looking at warehouse management systems and warehouse management mm -hmm. as such, um, and the challenges of integrating those into these various disparate systems are are, are always there. So there's yes. sometimes an interesting story around um, the challenge of that. Yeah. Um, so um, uh, what are, what are you sort of your your general view of growth and your business at the moment in the UK, how are you finding the, the business environment in the UK right now? I mean, uh, to be honest, uh, the environment isn't that great now <laughs> because of, you know, the economic situation now. And literally uh, today we had an announcement in terms of the economic growth, which was zero, uh, not point something percent. Yeah. Uh, so it's not, as of now, it's not a great environment, but it is, a, I would say it is the best time to to be a growing business yeah. because what would happen is you would you would grow alongside with a new boom <laughs> or the new yeah. bubble yeah okay yeah. so i uh, personally i think um one the you know as a as, as i'll consider myself a very very um uh what would say a positive person yeah. So, so yeah. my forecasts are positive. <laughs> but you know, that's, so, that's exactly what I was about to say is that yeah. um, it, it's interesting how most of the people that are in businesses that are growing, irrespective of the economic situation, are positive, and that's one of the reasons why they're growing. Yes, yes. Um, yeah. I mean, the truth is, when with the 
the mindset of most people who are starting up a business and who, the, the mindset is you would always have this positive naivety and that's what makes if if you know how hard it is you'll probably not start <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. yeah so, so and then <laughs> failure you need to embrace failure you have to learn how to embrace yeah. failure like me personally i love like i can't yeah. I, I i i would say failure is part of the the is part of the journey which i enjoy Right, right, right. Okay. You, uh, lessons, <laughs> lessons from your dad, um, uh, who yes. has had multiple businesses, multiple startups, yes. and that entrepreneur mindset. I'm trying to get um, that mindset embedded into my son. Yeah, yeah, exactly. My dad, I've seen him fail. There was a time, this was years back, this was in, in the early 90s, um, that he went almost bust uh, because he had his shipments which I don't know what was the issue, whether it wasn't insured or something like that. I'm not sure what was it, but he had a huge shipment, which he had a lot of investment on, and that had an issue. And I think, I don't know if it was flooded or whatever, but I, I, I can remember that particular day, him um, me, seeing him and seeing how sad he was on that day. And yeah. obviously it affected how we, you know, before we, we would have everything we want, et cetera. And then from that day on forward, you will ask that for something. He's saying, no, there's no money. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, Obi, a, um, a, a, you know, what, I, what I'm finding very interesting is that I've did a few interviews um, a couple of weeks back on in the wine industry where uh, there's a, a trend in the US to people building private labels and saying, yeah. well, um, have someone else manufacture and label and brand a private brand for them in the wine industry. And what I find fascinating is that you're doing the same in the vitamin supplement industry. And that is just really, really cool. So, you know, thank you for that. And thanks for coming on. Um, any, um, how can our viewers reach you or find out more about your business? Awesome. So um, our, the, our website is www.vitamanufacture one right. word dot co dot uk um and yes. then you can find us on linkedin um we have instagram still vita dot manufacture um okay. we're on twitter um okay. and all the all the platforms you it once you type in vita okay. manufacture you'll be able to find us personally yeah. me you can find me on instagram i'm more active instagram and linkedin um yeah. instagram uh, if I can remember my Instagram handle, that's Kiona Obi. Okay. Um, LinkedIn, Dr. Obi or KK. Um, so Vita Manufacture, once you type that okay. in, you'll be able to find me there. Okay. Vita is V I T A, just for everyone. V -I -T -A. Yeah. Excellent. Awesome. Dr. Obi, thank you so much for coming on thank board. You. And, um, uh, you know, good luck on, on building that business out. And, yeah. um, you know, I'm going to certainly um, look forward to the comments on, on this episode of the show. So thanks awesome. everyone for joining and um, uh, taking in this conversation um, and reach out to Dr. Obi if you um, have any aspirations of getting a brand of vitamin tablets <laughs> out there. I, I, I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it is. It is. I love, I love what I do. I love, I love what, what I do. Thank Excellent. you. Thank you very much. <laughs>